today and tomorrow and Friday here on PSL. All on this Wednesday, it's July 22nd. Welcome to PSL Paula Sands Live. The summer is flying by for my first guest, who in just a couple of months will represent Iowa on the Miss America stage as Miss Iowa. Taylor Weavers from Clinton was crowned last month in Davenport and joins us now as she gets ready for her time in the national spotlight. Taylor, it's great to have you here today. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. How are you feeling these days? Good. I feel like things are traveling a million miles an hour, but you know, things are getting done and I have so many opportunities presented to me. Oh, the opportunities. Aren't oh, yeah. they exciting? So exciting. So uh, University of Iowa, where are you now in your education? Well, I've taken the year off to fulfill my duties as Miss Iowa, but when I return, I will be a senior at the University of Iowa. And you're studying what? I'm studying communications, but my emphasis is in nonprofit management. Yeah, I want to talk about that. I know your platform is about uh, childhood cancers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and supporting kids who are going through that. How did that spark for you? How'd that start? Well, the funny thing is it was just in third grade. We watched a St. Jude video uh, to get us involved in the Make-A-Wish program, mm -hmm. try to get us to ask our friends and our family to donate. We did a jump roping, um, Make-A-Wish kind of fundraiser. And for some reason, as a child, seeing those kids not be able to have the things I had, really, it hurt my feelings. And I, I talked to my mom about it. And we decided to do a birthday party where instead of people bringing gifts, they would bring donations for the St. Jude Foundation. Wow. So that, that was triggered then. And yeah. It's, and it stuck, huh? Yeah. And it actually just escalated throughout my whole life until I was presented with the St. Baldrick's Foundation just to volunteer. Uh, but then, you know, decided to make a rather large decision. That's right, St. Baldrick's. I heard that you shaved your head. I did. How long ago? You've got a ton of hair, girl. <laughs> it was four years ago. It has grown back, luckily. <laughs> it went away, grew back, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was it was in high school so it was kind of uh, people thought I was a little bit crazy because it is the peak of everyone's um, I think physical oh I know time, you know that awkward stage. there you are look you're cute as can be oh, getting yeah. get your head shaved would you ever do that again what do you think oh yeah it was one of the most rewarding things I've ever done so if you know if the opportunity presented them itself I, I would do it again and you started out in pageants as you, you were the first little Miss Clinton yes how, how old were you? I was nine years old. You were nine. We have a picture of that, I think. Oh, yeah. So you, what made you go out for that first one? Well, actually, my grandma and my mom had brought me to the Miss Clinton County pageant since I was four years old. Uh -huh. And there had not been too many opportunities for uh, the little category. So when the Miss Iowa program presented the Sweetheart pageant, the little junior and teen category, I definitely I jumped in really quickly. You're a musical theater girl. Yes, I am. I do know that. <laughs> so uh, you sang Don't Rain On My Parade for your talent portion yes. for Miss Iowa. What, have you always loved the older musicals? I think I, I like old classic musicals because I think it really, now musicals are getting even more pop and they have like rock musicals, pop musicals, but I love the like classic. The standards. Exactly. The belting, the, the Barbara Streisand. She's my favorite. We share a birthday. That's a fun oh, fact. You do? Yeah, April 24th. Good so for you. Me and Babs have our own little uh, there's, bond. There's a role model, <laughs> exactly. right? Exactly. So you can't reveal what you're going to you're going to sing on stage for Miss America. It's all top secret. This level is, is very very high when it comes mm -hmm. to uh, talent and all of that. What, what intimidates you about any of that? About hitting that national stage and competing against really talented people? It actually doesn't intimidate me. It makes me feel a little bit more honored to be on a stage with so many girls, 52 girls, that any one of us could be Miss America. Any one of us could have the talent to do the job. So I think being on a stage with the same caliber of talent is actually really impressive because I'm part of an amazing group of women. And I know you you love your little fans. Oh, the, the, I do. the young ones. And there are many still uh, <laughs> girls, young girls, who really look up to someone like yourself. There's something about the crown. There is. We still, have, we still have a princess thing going on. Yeah. What do you like to tell girls about that? I just love to make Miss Iowa the most relatable person she can be. I don't like to seem like the princess that you can't, you know, run up and give a hug to. You Good. Like, I love to pass the crown on to them. I love for them to hold it. I love for them to try it on because... Oh, you're doing that there. Oh, yeah, yeah they love it. The, the kids love it and they... Because I think sometimes as a title holder, we do a lot of appearances that we're almost 
on another tier, but I love, when I'm around the kids, I want to be on the ground. I want to be, you know, on their level, making sure they know that it's not an impossible feat. They can do this in years to come. And, you know, this is your website that shows where you can, uh, you, you can speak in a lot of different groups. Yeah. And I know that, uh, that you're in demand for that. So we wanted to show that so that people know how to get a hold of you. And I know that you care a lot about the kids. And so that, I, that touches my heart as well. Thank so you. congratulations Thank for that. You. So we're going to look for you on, uh, is it September? Is, that, I think, is it 13th? 13th. Yes. Oh, yes. And so you're, you're, you're big time in the sun. And uh, we're going to be cheering for you for oh, sure. Taylor Weaver's you. everybody. Uh, born and bred in. in